All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and uh, yeah, I had to deal with some stupid, annoying errand from a uh, long, long ago. You know, as I might have mentioned before, uh, you know, I did a uh, movie uh, quite a few years back, and then uh, yeah, you know, I figured uh, you know, paperwork and all that stuff was done, and it was, but you know. One of the people, one of the actresses that kind of helped me out with the whole thing, like, you know, we try, uh, you know, she wanted me to get her son in the sack, so, you know, she gave him some work, but the problem is the details are so fuzzy, because it was, like, from so fucking long ago, like, what, four or five years ago, and obviously I don't even have the records anymore, and I've dealt with this problem before, too, so then, I guess if, you know, SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild, basically doesn't want to give you the waiver, then there's nothing I can do, and then there's, like, you know, I can't tell this person that because obviously it's her, you know, her uh, her family member. So obviously, obviously she's just not going to think of it uh, rationally. So you know, oh well. Anyway, I'll have to take a look at that uh, this irritating problem because you know it's more or less resolved. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. Anyway, we're up to Cloud World number three twenty five. And uh, luckily, you know, after some crazy news this week, it seems like things are finally settling down. So uh, Bitcoin interest for this week is actually dropped dramatically to five. So that's kind of interesting. So it's actually at the bear market low of Bitcoin interest for the normies, even though Bitcoin has obviously skyrocketed like crazy. So there's clear. So as you can so as you can see from this, clearly there is a difference between the rich and the poor, right? Because, you know, the rich are already buying up cryptocurrency, as we can now see in just a second, right? I mean, obviously, I'll address it in a second. But this is really important, right? If you want to get rich and you want to, like, not have to worry about money and all that stuff, or at least, you know, have a much better handle on money problems, you don't want to be these people, right? Because they're just like, ah, oh, Bitcoin sucks, whatever, right? And then nobody cares about Bitcoin. See, now it's at five, right? Meanwhile, rich people see what others cannot see, right? It's, it's called having fi uh, vision, financial vision or whatever. So they can already see ahead. I can see ahead what's going to happen, right? In fact, I did a tweet yesterday. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Let's go to my profile here. Ah, uh, I can't want that throwing picture. Uh, Paris, America first. Now, now, where is it? Uh, drag queens are going to appear in the Super Bowl. Uh, legal trouble. No, I know I did it. Where is the fucking tweet? Oh, I think here it is. Oh, yeah, I passed right by it. Actually, I have many impressions of this guy. Let's see. Two third impressions, two profile clicks, and then one guy expanded the thing. Yeah, of course. Anyway, people have no idea why Bitcoin is up, so they just make up all sorts of stupid shit. And then this is the kind of crap that I see, you know, on Forbes and whatever, right? They say, well, Bitcoin's a leading indicator of a coronavirus outbreak. Sometimes that's true, but sometimes it's not. It's it's actually kind of random because you're dealing with human emotions, which are generally pretty random, all right? And the bias is towards people acting very selfishly, right? Basically, they only care about themselves and their own worldview. They don't take into account other people. So, you know, obviously, the better, the better you are at empathy and having vision, they're actually connected, I think. Uh, the better you can actually figure out what other people are doing, and then you can, you know, uh, you can, uh, you know, plot accordingly, right? It's just like the video games. If you know what your opponent is doing, you can already anticipate it, right? Wayne Gretzky, uh, I think that was his name, like the really famous hockey player, like the best one that I ever played, right? I guess the Michael Jordan of hockey. Uh, he would do the same shit too. Like he would actually figure out not only where the puck was going to be, but he also could figure out what his opponents were gonna fucking do. So basically, he was like playing with cheats or something like that, right? With, but uh, but with without hacking or cheating, right? He just knew what everyone was gonna do before the people themselves knew what they were gonna do. But by then, it's obviously too late. You gotta get in on the ground floor before there's even a ground floor, right? And that's the whole point of this, you know, little thing I'm giving you uh, advice. Right? The rich are already going up. The normies don't give a shit. Right? So don't be these people down here uh, that just think Bitcoin's a stupid idea. That's why you're going to remain poor. 
And funny enough, it's kind of the reason why people are still bu bugging me years later about stupid shit that should have been resolved. Or, you know, I suspect it's actually more like, you know, the person's doing something wrong. But I'm getting the blame for it, and it's just very fucking annoying. But, oh well. Anyway, Bitcoin DOS is at 66.4%. Twitter for our volume is at 119 billion. Bitcoin uh, yesterday was rallying very hard, and it hit, like, basically 9300. And it looks like it's just going to be flatlining here for now. So the next 12 to 14 hours are going to be pretty critical to see what, you know, the American markets and I guess this side of the earth, uh, the Western Hemisphere, is going to decide to do a crypto. But so far, it's so good. Uh, what's interesting, thing, what's interesting though, is Bitcoin skyrocketing and altcoins, they're going up a little bit or they're going down a bit. And, as, and of course, the hardest hit was uh, for a four coin. Uh, so we'll get to that in a second. Uh, Litecoin's basically at $60 uh dog coins at 297 million market cap um steam is at 16.47 cents so uh all right so not too much here um oh there's a bunch of new cryptocurrencies here that are skyrocketing to the top of the top 100 crypto or on coin market cap it kind of like makes me uh irritated uh, you can't see because uh, my camera's carrying it, but we're going to go to this coin. So originally I thought, so this coin used to be like top 100 and then top 200, now it's down to 751. So this coin, Clams, is mostly uh, run, I'm not sure, yeah. So this coin is mostly run, basically the only real use case of this is to be used as a gambling uh, currency on a gambling website. I think it's called JustDice.com or something like that. <clears throat> and at the time, I thought like if you just had like a gambling use case, that would be good enough. But it's pretty obvious that the answer is uh, no, it's not. You have to actually create a, a legitimate use case. So, um, <clears throat> what? Oh, great! Did I accidentally, yeah, I accidentally xed out coin market cap. So that so that basically means yeah, I'm gonna have to really hurry up and make my really shitty little 2D or 3D game. I'm hoping I sh I'll be able to figure out how to adapt all the stuff because all the stuff i'm learning in my programming course course i think it's called zenva um obviously want to be a little careful with this all right because i actually bought the subscription for this already so this is the course that i'm actually uh taking multiplayer game development degree like uh when i subscribe which is like 10 15 bucks a month i get access to their entire website so this is just the one that i'm you know currently looking up um, and then here you can see, you know, uh, Battle Royale, that's a 3D RPG, uh, multiplayer projects. Uh, I think that's going to be 3D turn-based multiplayer, uh, projects. That's like 2D slash 3D. I think it's 2D was the screenshot. Player authentication with Azure Playfab. So I think Azure is from Microsoft. So that's kind of interesting. I have to use a Microsoft server to do login authentic uh, authentication. And then you have Azure PlayFab leaderboards, and then you have player trading using Azure PlayFab. So this is what's going to be used for the auction house. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I really still want, if you remember my game flow, my flow chart for my game, the basic, the, the initial prototype, right? Obviously, it's going to probably change here and there. I want to create, like, basically a casual Tarkov simulator, essentially, right? So, And then there's also going to be a Battle Royale now, uh, Battle Royale mode. Because one of the things that I'm, th I'm trying to think of is why do some games only focus on a couple of things, but then they don't, they don't exactly do what World of Warcraft does, right? So that's what I'm trying to think of. And I, and I think, I don't know, I guess they just don't want to do that for some reason. I don't think it's a performance issue e either, because if you're loading into the Battle Royale mode, you're obviously not going to load into like the, uh, the, the raid scav uh, operations mode, where you actually go into the pvpve instance where like you actually fight each other and get loot and shit and then if you die you know you pretty much lose all your stuff unless you insure it now i'm gonna have a little i'm gonna have a different twist on that you know i'll wait till like i actually you know reach that point but i have a pretty good idea of how to like make that a little more casual friendly but still have a pretty hefty price for you know being bad at the game but i also will make sure that you know you know you'll have uh 
like I really think I might still uh, I still kind of want to add the companion part. So like what, even if you solo kill, you'll have like your NPC companion that'll just like help with the you know aiming and shit, and obviously take hits for you. But of course, your companion has to have equipment too, so the same rules apply. If somebody loots your companion's equipment, you know, and then even though you warranty it, well, you know, that's why I have to call it is warranty because you know Tarkov uses insure or something like that, right? But there's like there's uh, like other ways, other words I could use, and then you know, yeah. So you can't. I mean, I guess you still could go kind of naked, right? But you know, I, I uh, I'm gonna use a dynamic loot system. I'm not gonna use fixed point systems. Like that's why Tarkov has a lot of problems with loot because a lot of people complain that people just Go in naked, steal all the loot, and then disconnect or whatever. Uh, there's nothing you can do to stop that. So what you do is just have everything dynamic loot. So, you know. Uh, but also, just put, like, NPCs there, too. So they'll all be guarding the loot. You know, like, you know, just, just do that. Anyway, um, can... Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, cryptocurrencies got a pretty nice boost. Interestingly enough, though, everyone's dumping all their altcoins, essentially, and they just want Bitcoin. So that's that's the play that rich people are making. Can is up eleven cents. So okay, uh, okay. So that's actually pretty decent. So can is finally being kind of correlated to the crypto markets, uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, stock equity markets are basically up a little bit. So it's pretty like very neutral day. So but nothing bad though. Uh, JFC is at two to three. Uh, Sub Satoshi's, of course, uh, lots of buying activity at three. Hardly anything at two because this is just a terrible price. I mean, it's uh, I mean JMC is getting hit pretty hard by crypto going up, but still, I mean, the price is already so bad that you know it doesn't really have much room to go down. Uh, four four coin got hit, I guess, last night or this morning when I woke up with a severe uh, dumping. Right, it actually is now uh, recovering a little bit because people are now buying back into the market obviously a good thing but it went as low as 12 apparently and people were dumping like a shit ton of money uh and i'm glad that you know and in fact if bitcoin goes down to 9100 9000 that would be very good for us because that punishes the stupid fucking asshole very that just did the dump because he's like oh my god bitcoin's going up let me let me dump all my 404 coins so it's very irritating uh i really hate it and there's nothing you can do about it all right because uh, it, it's the free market, all right? That's what we all signed up for. And it's all, it's actually the most honest market there is. So you have to allow for uh, dumps and stuff, right? So anyway, uh, so this is very reassuring. Uh, I guess you could say my prayers have been answered by God. You know, a couple of, uh, you know, like literally within like the past 30 minutes, right? While I was dealing with my, you know, uh, old movie shit, uh, someone's, you know, uh, went in and bought a lot of cheap for a four coin. I still say this thing is way underpriced and it's very irritating. Uh, but who knows? Like if Bitcoin continues to skyrocket towards ten thousand within, you know, between now and what a couple days from now, uh, yeah, four four coins probably going to get hit even harder. Uh, but it really should be in the low twenty. It should be in the low to high twenties, right? But again, uh, as you can see, someone's trying to sell a lot of four four coin. This is twenty seven point fifty five million because the guy wants Bitcoin because he knows it's going up, right? But he's holding a lot of four or four coins. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna dump all my four or four coin. So it's uh, it's gonna be uh, kind of rough, but you know we'll we'll just have to see. Uh, Eight oh eight coin went through the exact same thing. So uh, you know it's unfortunate. Like that's what it that that's what it is. So if I can get the game out in time. Then, you know, well, we'll see. But the thing is, I'll probably have to just accept 2 by 2 coin at that point. And then once uh, things stabilize more and I can afford another 10,000 euro fee, I can add 404 coin. Uh, it's still going to be uh, pretty rough. But I'm thinking another alternative could be I could just use a little bit of, like, Bitcoin profits. Like, because at that point, 404 coin might actually be worth very little, just like JMC coin, and then just simply buy out the supply. That's another option too, in case I don't want to deal with um, deal with uh, swaps. But the problem is, you know, four hundred four percent APR is a lot. So is two by two is three hundred sixty five percent APR, and this thing compounds faster because you stake every twenty four hours. So it's still going to be pretty rough. But you know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll definitely have we definitely have contingency plans. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. But the most important thing is I have to get the game out so that we have something to even work with. Because if there's no game, then our use case is basically, 
I don't want to say obsolete, but it's one step above obsolete because gambling sites now are like right above uh, useless, right? You know, and that's and that's basically what a lot of these coins are at, right? Uh, like compound coin. You know, compound coins able to submit to a lot of sites, but that's only going to take them so far. Because again, what's the use case? A use case for a compound coin. So speaking of which, it's uh, it's still pretty holding, pretty steady, forty four hundred to a little like. 5,000 to 5,400 Satoshis of a dog coin. Um, all right, I mean, it's something. It's, it's not great, though. So, anyway, uh, so luckily, I mean, now that I've more or less settled into using YouTube, uh, you know, these videos can start being a little shorter again. Uh, so, you know, which is nice because now I, I have to go do other stuff. So, 99% Bitcoin transactions do not go on the dark net. Few people are using Bitcoin to buy illegal drugs, and it's easy to see why. So, I mean, according to this, it's like, uh, it's basically because of, uh, you got KYC. No, uh, yeah, exchanges are using KYC. Uh, Bitcoin used to expose, uh, is used to expose dark net dealers. Yeah, because again, Bitcoin is uh, actually kind of public. So if you're a drug dealer, I mean, you could probably still use Bitcoin. You just have to be a lot smarter about it and basically just try to figure out how to launder your Bitcoin. Um, but uh, I mean, if like if you're transacting like five thousand, ten thousand dollars a day, that's actually going to probably uh, make the ex exchanges very suspicious, right? You know, if you're only making like fifty or hundred dollars a day, which is uh, bare, I don't, I don't even think I make that anymore. I just know my 404 coin, right? And you do that on like Crex, for example. Yeah, Crex is going to, uh, what the hell? Crex is going to, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, flag your account, I'd probably lock it until you can prove KYC at that point, right? Because, you know, the, because everyone's, because the governments are starting to get more annoyed with cryptocurrency. So that's why they're wrapping up their KYC bullshit, right? So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, on the other hand, maybe they'll use Monero. So that's probably what that's that's also another reason they might be moving to Monero. So I mean, it's kind of nice, you know, to know this. But I mean, again, criminals are criminals, right? They're actually not dumb, right? That's the smart ones are not dumb. <laughs> that's an oxymoron. So yeah, so they're obviously not going to be using Bitcoin. They just go. They'll just do something else. Singapore, Dubai, and the Philippines initiate new plans to expand crypto industry. So I do want to read this, but for, before we do that, so it looks like someone, so the, whoever wants to sell a lot of their 404 coin, now they've moved on to 18, and, and the, this stupid asshole is selling almost 50 million of it. So, uh, yeah, this could be, uh, I mean, who knows? We, I mean, 404 coin might actually now be worth in the teens now. Um, you know, so it's uh, it's unfortunate, but... Uh, we'll have to see. Well, like when this pulls back, like if it decides to, because it does look like it wants to pull back, but it also could just be a flat line, right? It's just, you know, taking a breather before Bitcoin and crypto wants to go back up. Uh, in that case, you know, then maybe people will buy at this, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, this is a huge dump, so uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, Singapore's Minister of Act took to effect. Okay, allowed uh, cryptocurrency companies to apply for operating licenses in Singapore for the first time. The new legislation provides companies with a regulatory framework that details how to handle activities ranging from trading of crypto to digital payments. The law grants the MAS the power to regulate crypto payment services, merchant acquisition, and domestic transactions. MAS will also mitigate cybersecurity risks and put controls in place to combat the funding of terrorism and money laundering. Well, that's pretty funny because Hamas is still getting their uh, their rocket. They're still getting their Bitcoin to fund their rocket attacks on Israel. And after uh, Trump's uh, shitty Middle, Middle East uh, so-called peace deal, you know the Palestinians are getting even angrier at Israel. <laughs> Nizam Ismail, founder and CEO of Ectic, uh, uh, tells Bloomberg the new law offers regulatory clarity on emerging innovative. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, in Dubai, uh, well, has announced as working with CVB. What? Who are these people? Okay, the new venture is envisioned to be the largest ecosystem for blockchain distributed ledger. Uh, da, 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 is created to foster growth. Okay, meanwhile, in the Philippines, another crypto valley is emerging um, in a bid to attract more. Investors, CISA plans to build an $80 million airport inside the economic zone. That's actually pretty important. 
Because if I were interested in doing, say, Bitcoin shit in the Philippines, I'm going to want an airport because obviously I live in America. So I have to, I mean, I have to fly there. So uh, we are, the plane has to land somewhere. Construction of a new airport is an important facility in Saturday and realization of the so-called Crypto Valley of Asia. Yeah, I suspect that's like the more Western governments, you know, become more restrictive on crypto and just becomes more uh, globalist. Uh, see, I, see, I, see, I got on YouTube, so I got to be nicer now. Uh, become more degenerate. All right, that's the word I'm looking for. Become more degenerate, right? You know, pu uh, putting degeneracy and filth uh, over, you know, basic economic functions. Uh, yeah, you know, the Asian countries are really just anything outside the Western society system, right? You know, Western European democracy type stuff. You know they're they're gonna pick up the, they're gonna they're gonna pick up the ball and you know run with it right that's that's why God's backup plan for the world is China, all right, you know so you know if uh, America and Western society fail to you know uh, you know you know uh, move away from their degenerate agendas you know because again I gotta be a little safe right uh, well then yeah you know China will become the number one superpower in the world and deservedly so. <clears throat> And it doesn't even have to be that way. America can still remain the number one superpower in the world. They just gotta <clears throat> stop being dumb, stop promoting, uh, stop promoting degeneracy, and start embracing cryptocurrency. It's really not that hard. But you know, of course, uh, America is under the control of um, certain globalists and uh, certain foreign countries. So you know, and obviously they just want to tank this country. So. Oh well, uh, but you know Nick Fuentes and the Groyper has got something planned for it, so we'll see. The he's uh, chief executive that talks at the transportation blah 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 for the Philippines. He want, explains that investors want to get into eco zone as quickly as possible, and airport facility is the most viable solution. All right, well, so that's good. So the Philippines is uh, working hard. Uh, Singapore and China has already worked hard, and Dubai is also working hard to uh, implement more cryptocurrency uh, blockchain stuff. So overall, that's very good. Um, you know, that's that's better fundamentals. But ultimately, we still need to wait for the big daddy, right? Which is Europe and America, right? And they're slow going, right? The Canadians are still working on it too. But you know, again, as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, the Central Bank of Canada, I think it's called the SBC or something like that. They're they're still in the prototyping slash research phase. But yeah, central banks are now already apparently again because I mentioned it in this series video are apparently doing uh, more research and rushing to implementation phase of a uh, cryptocurrency because because uh, it didn't occur to me until just now. Right. If central banks say cryptocurrencies and digitizing their own country's uh, currency into a blockchain coin, right, America coin, China coin, UK coin, or whatever you want to call it, coin, right? If they think it's a stupid idea, then why were they giving Facebook and Libra so much bullshit, right? You know, critical thinking. I just realized that. Yeah, like if it really wasn't a big deal, then why do they care about Facebook's Libra so much? China obviously cares about it, but their reaction was to say no libra but have china coin so just make their own copy so now i think central banks have finally realized to say this like hey yeah that is true if we actually think libra is such a big threat why don't we just do it ourselves we, it's not that hard i mean the shit's open source and yeah so i think i so i think that's ultimately what's going to happen actually that is what's happening uh and then ultimately that should mean that bitcoin and crypto is going to skyrocket because Everyone will get into crypto. They'll understand what it is. They won't know what the hell is going on. They'll just think that everything's the same. And then they'll be like, you know what? I want more of this America coin. I want more of this France coin. I want more of this China coin. Right? But it's so hard to mine it. So what can we do? Ah, enter the solution. It's right here. On. And in fact, Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko. They all list the solutions. So um, yeah, I guess we could use this thing. So anyway, uh, yeah, so shorter video, so thank God. So anyway, if you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my bitch, uh, bitch shoots, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC, which is just a really irritating URL, but I can't do anything about it. So anyway, uh, I guess obviously I'm done for the day because it's just one video. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your day or night. Uh, I've got some work to do, as always, so uh, 
I'll see you all in tomorrow's videos, and um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so whoever this 404 guy is, he's... Okay, so he obviously has a lot of 404 coin that he dumped on cracks, and he's trying to get the most out of his uh, investment. Okay, so I, 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 I see what he's doing. Shit, that means there's going to be plenty of 404 coin to be dumped. <laughs> um, but, well, what are you going to do, right? That's the free market. So anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's videos. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, we're just going to have to get used to these shitty prices, I suppose. But it's really you know, way too low, but, you know, you just roll with the punches. Anyway, thanks for watching. Johnson Chen, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and that's the thumbnail.